Good morning, Packers fans. Aaron Negler here with your Packers Daily Chat. Coming to you live on the Cheesehead TV social channels. It's, what day is it? It's Wednesday. The Packers will probably be practicing today, although they were scheduled to practice yesterday, and that practice was canceled. Um, Not due to COVID, per coach, but... um, Apparently, a few players, the leadership on the team, approached Matt and said, hey, let's dial it back on the old practice there, Coach. And Coach apparently listened to his players. So um, we will hear from Coach again today. Um, There will be a practice, supposedly, later today. But right now, it's time to talk to you fine folks. See what's up. See how you're all doing. See what Packers fans worldwide are up to. Lee, starting us off with a super chat. Thanks, Lee. Which Packers do you think make the Pro Bowl? The one I'm thinking is a lock is Devontae Adams. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, always a mainstay, although, you know, he never goes. Uh, But I think those two are your locks. Outside of that, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I think Elton would have if he had stayed healthy. Uh, They've had a, you know, jumble on the offensive line. so hard to see any of those guys getting in. Um, I don't think either of the backs will. I think first, I think they'll probably split their votes. And two, um, you know, with both of those guys having kind of stretches where they've been the more dominant in the backfield, I think it's just it's going to be too tough to get them in over some of the other more productive backs around the league. Um, defensively, I think it will be very interesting. I wonder if Razul Douglas gets in just on the strength of, you know, big plays and big moments in primetime games. I mean, I think that's a long shot, but it's a possibility. Mm. New York Cheesehead has it right, though. It won't matter because they'll be playing in the Super Bowl. I like it. I like it. I like where your head's at. Do you have any idea why 12 never goes to the Pro Bowl? You've gone a few times. Like, Plus, you know, it's the start of your offseason. You want to be beholden to a schedule and a whole game that no one cares about. I get it, man. I mean, I understand why guys who are going for the first time or first few times enjoy the trip, enjoy the camaraderie with other players, et cetera. But, man, you've run that route a few times, you probably get sick of it and you're ready to start your offseason. I don't I don't think that's a surprise at all. Uh, big week for EQ. Uh, we'll see. Fascinating how the beat writers criticize the Packers for barely beating an injured team while saying the Packers' injuries aren't an excuse. It is interesting how that works, isn't it? And I will admit to talking to people inside the building who have noticed the same thing. Very curious how that works, huh? I mean, it goes back to, and this is one thing that I kind of, you know, agree with Bob McGinn on. And Bob laid it out a few years ago about how the expectations for the Green Bay Packers now that, you know, they have become this powerhouse, this perennial winning machine, uh, as far as winning boatloads of games, which they do seemingly every year. There was a stretch there, obviously, at the end of Mike's tenure where they dipped. But, you know, the, the, they're judged as uh, on a championship level. They are a championship contender. Now, obviously, they have not won a ton of championships, but they are contenders every year. So they are judged accordingly. You know, you judge them differently than, say, you judge the Jaguars or the Cleveland Browns, even, uh, who are coming into Lambeau on Saturday. That said, there is a modicum of reality that has to be taken into account. And if the Packers are indeed down as many players as they have been all season long, um, you know, you have to give them props for continuing to win, despite the fact that they are down four starters along the offensive line, out two of their best players on defense. You know, the list goes on and on. And yet, to your point, you know, they they eke out a win over the Ravens, and it's, oh, well, they barely beat a, a depleted Ravens team. Man, have you watched the NFL? Did you see the Detroit Lions beat the Cardinals? Did you watch Tom Brady and company unable to score a single point against the Saints at home? It's a week-to-week league, man. You do not ever, ever apologize for winning. Ever. A W is all that matters. Collecting those Ws, getting a home field for the playoffs, marching to the Super Bowl. That is always the goal. The Packers are trying to accomplish it. I'm with you, man. The double standard is kind of funny. Will Randall Cobb play in the playoff week? He's a great player. I love him, question mark, says Callum. Um, I think he's got an outside chance during the playoffs. 
not before then, definitely. Uh, what else we got? Dakota, we get a snow globe game Saturday? I hope. I know it was snowing in Green Bay yesterday. I have no idea what the forecast is for this weekend, though. Amazing visuals. If it, I mean, Christmas Day at Lambeau in the snow. Are you kidding me? I'm all about it. Chris, thanks for the super chat. Yes, my favorite time of the day is here where I spend money and slow up my route, but it's all worth it as I get to talk about the Packers. Sup, Nags? Well, thanks, brother. Thank you very much for the support. Greatly appreciated. Don't go too slow, but thanks for uh, hanging out and talking Pack. Uh, what happened to MVS? He is on the COVID reserve list. Um, he can possibly test off of it and play on Saturday. Uh, we'll hear probably more from Matt this afternoon in that regard, but um, yeah, he, he's on the COVID reserve list along with Kenny Clark, who is still on that list. So we will see what happens here over the course of the next few days. Um, Pack Dat, thanks for the super chat. Which player or front office personnel would benefit the most from a Super Bowl? Mark Murphy. I think Andy Herman put this out there as a question a couple days ago, or uh, last week, I think, on Twitter. And, um, you know, he was asking about, you know, which player is it, or is it Gutekunst or Rodgers? Who would, you know, whose legacy would be uh, greater, kind of burnished, if they get a Super Bowl victory. And to me, it's Mark Murphy. It's his hand-picked GM and coach. You know, obviously Aaron Rodgers is there, and that's a big part of it, and he's a superstar MVP quarterback. But those are his guys, and he has had to shepherd this bumpy transition yet again into possibly a new era with a new quarterback. And to do it at the tail end of your superstar quarterback's career with a Super Bowl championship, would do would sit real well with his legacy. There's no question about it. Now, obviously, it will improve Aaron's legacy and or mantelpiece as far as having two Super Bowl championships uh, will quiet some of the critics. There will always be critics, but some of the critics as far as, oh, he's only ever won one, which is the dumbest criticism in sports. Um, if Brian Gutekunst clearly will get a little bit of a monkey off his back, although I don't think he'll ever truly will, he and Matt, until they win something without Rodgers. But, uh, yeah, I think Mark Murphy is the one where it does the most for his legacy. High of 36 for Saturday. All right. I like to see it. Mickey, thanks for the super sticker. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, hey, next, will you be at Barclays Center for 923-22 for the Depeche Mode New Order show? Is it Depeche Mode New Order? I think it was New Order and Pet Shop Boys. Um, regardless, I'll be there. No doubt about it. Uh, Depeche Mode ain't touring anytime soon, I don't think. I know Dave's doing his thing with Soul Savers right now. Mm. Any chance Roger stays or last dance? He's a complicated fella. Um, there never was much hope. Just a fool's hope. Or, never tell me the odds. Pick your movie quote. Um, I still think he's gone. But is there a chance? Of course there's a chance he sticks around. No doubt about it. We'll see. Uh, she's a Packers fan. What's up? Thanks for the super chat. So do you think the Packers are sandbagging with Bakhtiari and we'll see him in the playoff Super Bowl? If so, do we think he will be ready to go? I don't think it's a question of sandbagging. I think it's having to bring him along after a very serious injury. Um, I'm wary of the idea of just popping pop him. Pop him, popping, popping him in there for a playoff game without having played any football. That seems ill-advised to me. Now, maybe they have some kind of way of platooning. I don't know. And they bring him along slowly. But I would hope they'd get at least one game under his belt before the playoffs start. Um, but no, I don't, think, I don't think it's sandbagging. I think it's just the process of coming back from a very serious ACL injury. I don't think it's much more than that. <coughs> um, remember when we stressed over Murphy's hierarchy of coach answering to Murphy, as did Goot and Ball? Um, yeah, I mean, some people did, and I kind of get it. You know, I think I talked, did I talk about this yesterday here? I might have talked about it on um, the Patreon happy hour last night. Uh, there's, you know, good reason that people were wary of Murphy's shaking up of the, you know, power structure. 
given the history of the team, which now you know stretches over 100 years, Cliff Crystal has wrote on the Packers website, you know, throughout the history of the team, you can almost exclusively every single time point to when the business side of the Packers gets more involved or starts to encroach on the football side is when they have had their downswings and when they have been at their worst. And I understand Murphy is a football guy. He played in the league. He has represented both on the player side and the ownership side. So he knows all the facets. And I, I, this, that was always my thing is you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let it play out. Uh, there are lots of other teams that have a similar power structure around the league. Some who have won a lot um, Steelers coming to mind, but I get it, man. I get why some alarm bells went off. I understand why some of the old guard was like, mm, uh, this doesn't feel good. I mean, God knows, harken back to Bart Starr having to go in front of the executive committee on Mondays and explain his game plan. That actually happened. Think about that. Some dude holds a car dealership and some doctor and some other business dude and a bunch of, you know, suits actually sat in a room and demanded that Bart fucking Starr explain his game plan every week. You know, so I understand why people, like I said, the old guard was like, mm, this doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel like a good direction. Now, Murphy has made two really good hires in Gutekunst and LaFleur. Early returns are very good, but they are still early. Aaron Rodgers is a great deodorant. We will see how things play out. That's where I stand on that. Patrick. Thanks for the super chat. I will be section 120, row 15. Patrick coming down from Canada for the game. Merry Christmas, Patrick. That's awesome. The just rebellions are built on hope. Man, who is out? Is I is the person? Does the dude? There's a filmmaker who used to follow me when I was at Packers News. I don't know if he still does here at Cheesehead TV. He made one of the all-time great fan edits that year of Run the Table that was cut of like scenes from Rogue One and then the Aaron Rodgers quotes and plays on the field, et cetera. That can, oh, that gave me chills. It still does looking at that thing. He needs to re, re, redo that for this year. That's that's what I want. That's my request. Jeff, thanks for the super chat. Rodgers seems so zen this year. I say he keeps his chakras in Green Bay. It's possible, but remember, he was that way last year. People keep saying this, like, and it's not, I'm not, attacking you jeff but people keep saying like oh he's so happy or he's so zen or he's so this it's no, there's no way he's leaving he was all of those things last year while all this drama was bubbling around in the background that we knew nothing about at the time you know outward appearances don't mean a whole lot and that's not to say that he's not having a good time because i think he is but you know his mind state his mind kind of state of mind and where he's at and how he's feeling and laughing and whatever means very little when it comes to the conversation he's going to have with the franchise after this season. Just remember that. Landon, thanks for the super chat. Anybody else get the feeling Mike McCarthy will be in Lambeau for a game sometime in January? Yes, I do. I I am embracing it because I figure it's kind of inevitable at this point. And I cannot wait for it to happen. Um, that, I, I just kind of hope it's the divisional round because I can't handle the drama of having to beat Mike to get to the Super Bowl. I just, whew, baby, that's going to be a lot. That is going to be a lot. Geezer, thanks for the Super Chat. This game seems fun. Both teams with great defenses, but the Packers have the better offense. I got Packers 28-13, low scoring, because I think both defenses will get stops and all that, but not a bad matchup. Well, to me, it's all about, uh, will they have their quarterback? Will they have their coach? I think they just had another defensive player put on the COVID list. I mean, I think COVID's going to have more of a say in this game than anything else, uh, unless the Browns test uh, really well over the next couple days. And it sucks because I think, you know, this would be a really good matchup. But, man, we're living in the age of COVID, unfortunately. Um, but I'm with you, all things being kind of, quote, unquote, as normal as possible, I do think it would be a great matchup, especially along the front and trying to see how they mitigate the pass rush of the Browns. They've got some real talented players up front there. Um, and obviously the Packers are running out backups to backups at tackles. So it would be, uh, that will be 
a great test. And I think it'll be very similar to as far as an approach to what we saw the Packers take on the Rams. We know their front's amazing. Aaron was incredible in that game, getting the ball out, uh, you know, under three seconds, essentially, and making sure the rush didn't take over. So I'm with you. I think it could be a really good matchup. <laughs> Crystal's not being too simplistic, accidental hero. Go read what he wrote. That's one line. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Um, Chris, thanks for the super chat. He was the same last year, but I feel all the dirty laundry was aired out and now the fences are mended. Glad to see the bridge wasn't burned yet. I think you're doing a... <sighs> fences being mended is doing a lot of work there, Chris, but hopefully you're right. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, Married guys, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. It's It's simple. It's efficient. I love it. Do you think Aaron Rodgers infected Marcus felt as scantling? No. Uh, safe to say Bach won't be back this season. I don't want to admit, but I don't think that's safe to say. I think there's still a chance he plays. Now, is there a chance he doesn't? Absolutely. Of course. But I think there's a chance he plays. Hey, Nags, you asked my question to coach last night. What do you think of the answer about zone runs? Garrett, you were right about the, you know, they haven't run it as much. And I, I was kind of shocked that coach admitted it, um, but I tried to frame it in the sense of, I, you know, after, especially after that San Francisco game, he did start talking about how much, you know, more or different kind of looks they were using power wise, angle blocks, et cetera. But yeah, I thought, I thought his answer was good. And I thought, you know, it was refreshing to hear him not say, oh, we've done a lot of zone. Like, cause he was like, yeah, no, we've, we've switched it up. Not bad. Right. That was good stuff. Oh, man, we got to block all these spammers in here. Any updates on Z playing again this season? No, no. <sighs> Jimmy, you're adorable. You think we'll see Jair more in the slot when he comes back? Yes. That, that simple. Absolutely that simple. Uh, Merry Christmas, Dags. Everyone smash that like button. Thank you, Len. That's very nice of you. What else we got here? Oh, you know what I should do? I should make sure to say hello to our fine friends over at DraftKings Sportsbook. That's right, folks. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code CHEESEHEAD. The link to download said app is in the description of this YouTube video. DraftKings Sportsbook is giving all new players a deposit bonus up to $1,000 in free credits with their first deposit. Head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now and check out all they have to offer, including same-game parlays, player props, live betting, and so much more. DraftKings, America's top-rated sportsbook app, is safe, secure, and reliable. You can deposit and withdraw your money at your convenience. If Sportsbook is not yet available in your state, don't forget about the DraftKings Fantasy app. They are offering millions of dollars in total prizes every week. Do it, people. Do it. Uh, Chris, thanks for the super chat. Hopefully, a little Wayne can make a good song this time. Ooh, those are fighting words there, Chris. You mean uh, Saints fan, Lil Wayne? I kid, I kid, because I love. Landon, thanks for the Super Chat. Nags, three teams that the media keeps throwing out there for a 12 trade. New Orleans, Denver, Pittsburgh. I don't think any of those teams have enough to give. Thoughts? I haven't even looked at it, Landon. Ask me after the – you guys talking about trades and drafts and what have – what, what did Leroy Butler say? I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. Justin Perillo, who is that? <laughs> I don't sure. I mean, do they have enough? I have no idea. What are the starting point of negotiations? What is Brian asking for? Man, let's beat let's beat Cleveland. Let's do that first. Dave, thanks for the super chat. Really hoping Kenny can be back Saturday. Hoping not to see the Browns run game against a Kenny Clarkless front. Dave, you ain't lying. Uh, I thought TJ played okay in Baltimore, but man. Kenny's absence was noted. Although, that said, I thought Tyler Lancaster played a pretty damn good game uh, against the Ravens. Um, you know, obviously he's no Kenny, but I thought he held up really well. Uh, Dave, thanks for the Super Chat. Please tell me Sean Hockey Lee will not ref a playoff game. Oh, he'll ref a playoff game. I have zero doubt about that. Hopefully not one of the Packers are involved in. TKM, thanks for the Super Chat. Nags, home field throughout. You going to be there? Pappies, 
Happy holidays. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I will say this, though. If the Packers go to the Super Bowl, Cheesehead TV will be there. We will be on Radio Row all week long. Me, Corey, and Tyler will be rolling through L.A. for the Super Bowl. It's going to be a ball. It's going to be a good time. Have a good time. Have a good time. Uh, I love listening to Rodgers recall past accomplishments and hearing him talk about games that are stained in my memory forever. It is pretty cool, right? Especially when he starts remembering stuff that triggers you remembering like where you were, how you were watching it, and things like that. That stuff is pretty cool. I love that. Um, Merry Christmas, Nags. D and special teams will be much better versus the Browns. Maximus, from your YouTube chat, to the football God's ears. I love it. All right, everybody. I'm going to have to get going. I can't thank you enough. Oh, wait. Alex has a super chat right at the end here. Good evening, man. I don't know how people are still this optimistic about 12 staying. Cap troubles are no joke. And if he stays, it means 23 or 17 are gone. Uh, I don't think 23 is going anywhere, but 17? Yeah, we'll see. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. I can't thank you guys enough for hanging out, talking Packers each and every day, Monday through Friday, right here on the Cheesehead TV social channels. Please do me a monster favor. Hit like on this video subscribe to the channel join us tonight Corey and i will be back for packer transplants live it's gonna be a lot of fun um in the meantime tell your friends and tell your family cheesehead tv we are devoted to green bay packers fans worldwide thanks a lot everybody have a great day go pack go